Uh, I will be presenting a very short presentation on the uh, functional aspects as an administrator, how I see and what difficulties I face in terms of mock evacuation. Before that, I will play a video of one minute and that video is a forwarded video of an incident in one of the hospital ICUs and it will tell us the importance of one minute. In various presentations, we have seen for how long fire extinguisher works, how long, how many minutes the systems can stand. I, I, I just need to present the importance of one minute. So I will bring this video to one and a half minute. You can see here two doctors are connecting the connectors. There are four patients mm -hmm. in this ICU and I need your attention for only one minute. They have connected to the ventilator. There is a device. An old uncle is connected with the devices and the lines. There are another three patients who are sleeping. And a short circuit has happened. They are moving the patient. It's the short circuit in the electrical device, medical device. In a medical device, there are multiple times the blast happens. It is not one-time incidence because it has a lot of chipsets and a lot of circuits. It emits carbon monoxide, all the gaseous, noxious gases. You can see the video time also. I have started at 1.36. We will stop it at the end. The video is of two minutes. Exactly in one minute, how this ICU would look like. And that's what we need to address and plan ourselves. It is much worse preparation than the defense or a war. So this is how it is. It is filled within a minute. Within a minute, it is filled. And fortunately, all the patients have been evacuated. But this is how the life is when we face disasters in the hospital. I will get back to my presentation again. Hospital learnings on mock evacuation in code red situations. So we don't want to see such news in the media. These are the various news which media channels have run. And it's a very pathetic situation when we face as the administrators and listen to such incidences. This article, sir, has already shared about the various incidences past a decade um, incidences, what has happened. I have already shared with you the video of the fire in the ICU and its impact within two minutes. We will get back to this. We need to establish the emergency response communication system. And the moment code red is dialed in my hospital, we have SMS automated IVR call continuously ringing for three rings will be initiated and then the public announcement will be made. Below can be achieved with a digital EPPX and the software mapping of each extension numbers as per location of department in software master. SMS template for disaster incident information transmission has to be defined, which says which emergency code from which extension it is activated and what is the extension number. And for each type of disaster situation or emergency code, different emergency response teams as per the skill required to manage that disaster is being identified and defined into the communication loop in the software. So this is an example of the designations and the various departments for code red management. These people will receive the automated calls if any user, any nurse, any staff dials the number within 10 seconds, everybody will be alerted. Each member has a role-based specific pointer job cards defined. Assessment of implementation and efficacy of job action taken must be evaluated during mock drill as per the job cards. No namesake paper document. One minute readiness. Firefighting team shall be ready wearing firefighting PP in one minute. Traffic cordon of security team ready with barricades in one minute. Accident and emergency medical response team alerted in one minute. Electricity, LPG, pipe natural gas supply to kitchen, lift shall be shut down. Command structure communication on briefing in one minute after receiving the alert. Practice to lay hose reel flat with no twist and couple two hose reels in one minute. 
practice to lay hose reel to farthest point on the same floor and determine how many connectors will be required on each floor should be pre-identified as per your hospital or infrastructure. Water pressure test of hose reels every month to check for leakage or damage to the pipes. Horizontal movement of patient and staff away from fire in one minute. If we save life, there will not be any arrest. Handheld stretchers, evacuation chairs used for patient shifting in one minute. Continuous drill has to happen among all the housekeeping staff and the transporters. Printed list of admitted patients in a particular ward and evacuate and reconcile into the new locations mapped in the hospital for transfer outs. Head count of staff in code red zone and their health status. These are the one minute practice assignments on which we are focusing and which will help us to control the damage instantly. On fingertips, what we have to know. Where is the electricity distribution board location to shut off? Medical oxygen isolation valve location to shut off. Water supply valve location to shut off. Air handling location to shut off. Fire water tank location to either fill or to load water in the fire tender. Every time in each geography, there is no need or we cannot presume that the water is available in sufficient quantity. There are certain instances which has happened wherein the states, the lands, the cities have become dry and there was no water. LPG, PNG fuel, shut off valve location, list of hazmat with indicative quantity and location of storage which can be moved out of code red zone. Some based access of hazmat department wise, quantity wise and hazard rating wise. Remove away oxygen cylinders, air freshener, pressurized bottles, flammable chemicals or health hazard chemicals. Air freshener is a typical example, equivalent or more disastrous than petrol bomb, which we use. And these are mainly used in large quantities in ICUs and in wards. Vertical and horizontal evacuation path, same floor and between floors, top down way for mobile and bedridden patients and staff. Emergency contact. All key members who are authorized to command code red during various timings and days, working or on holiday or day or night, shall have contact numbers saved in their mobile phones. Nearest police station senior inspector, nearest fire brigade station officer, municipal disaster cell in charge contact number, area traffic police inspector contact for green corridor for fire brigade, ambulance, any other vehicle movement. Nearest hospital, accident and emergency department contact number, gas fuel area in charge, MGL, IGL, etc. Electricity substation in charge, contact number of patient, relatives and staff dependents through HR. Details should be available from HR and we cannot save such large numbers in phone. But such contact numbers from 1 to 7 should be available in a team of 5 or 10 people in the mobile phones for speedy contact. This is the critical path method. We need to define a critical path method for the code red. And we need to see that how many teams, how many departments will be parallelly functioning and such parallel activities will be done. What is the critical point at which the head of the institution has to take a call that now we have to call the fire brigade. If in a one minute, one ICU can be filled with such a large amount of smoke, then we are running against the time. So the moment code red is announced, all the three mediums, the communication reaches, the, all the members are alerted, all the members assemble, the security team reaches, fire safety officer reaches, search for the source of fire, mitigate the fire, identify the extent of the fire and inform the institutional head that whether we'll be able to control or call the fire brigade. Calling the fire brigade is the most fearful thing which all the institution heads fear so that what will be the future course of actions from the government bodies. But what I believe is that if we can get the support from the external sources and save the life, then the damages and litigations will be much less. And this is how the entire activity moves on, evacuation moves on. I will share this entire plan. First, I have planned the critical path method. Over a period of couple of incidences when we will conduct or any hospital conducts, then they can define the performance benchmark in terms of timing. That if you have to evacuate partially a ward of 25 patients, 20 patients, then what will be the sequence of activities and how much time your processes will take. The focus, discipline, division of labor, single command and do as it is defined. 
is very much required. In the tabletop exercise, involve each ground staff along with managerial staff and visualize the scenario of code red and who will do what with which resource in how much time and shall be document and role plays can be acted upon. Document the minutes of the meeting as per the following indicative format. You can devise your own formats, but this is just an example. Safe evacuation of all life from code red zone is required. The future tech possibility is a software-based visitor pass to patient attendant with their details, especially the Aadhaar cards, like such practices are in IT parks and the IT companies, so that on one click, list is available ward-wise which attendant is there, and we can do the head count and search those people with their mobile numbers that where they are in the facility or they are trapped. The second tech possibility is app-based fire evacuation pathways with active direction on mobile phone of occupant in the building. We are having these days various apps like Google Map app. The moment you enter into the hospital, the hospital signage and the directions with the name of the person during the shift who will meet in a particular department is available to the patients. Likewise, we need to design the fire evacuation path so that the once you open the app, it becomes illuminescent and it indicates the fire evacuation pathways, what we have defined on the maps pasted on the walls. It has to be dynamic and digital, which will be the next, which we will see in the evacuation planning. Next is code red mock drill. So department wise, wise each activity to be performed must be listed down and tick mark format to be defined for speedy observation and its correct documentation. External independent observers shall assess the conduct of drill as per the mock drill evaluation format, manning different zones, fire zone, triage zone, etc. These are the certain formats of the evaluation report which we follow. If anybody needs, I can share the entire template so that one can implement immediately. These are the various training guidelines as per the NDMA framework in case of code red and fire situation that which all different kind of specialist doctors we would require under various sections of disaster management like hospital incident response, information communication, triage, search capacity and handling, continuity of essential services and psychosocial first aid. This is for doctors of various specialties. This is for nurses is available in the manual of NDMA which is easily available on Google. You can refer it and focus on the training needs for this preparation of this disaster as per defined sections. So this is it from my side as far as my functional observations are concerned. Big salute to Corona Warriors. Thank you so much.